All right, I'm going to try to play another Ganesh game. I just played one, and it didn't go very well. It's like, all right, people always ask for gods like Capri and Ganesh, and I know Ganesh just got buffed, and people are asking me, how do you think Ganesh will do in Duel now? He's still pretty garbage. I mean, he, his ultimate is the easiest thing in the world to juke, and... That, that's it. He's a one. He, he can only use his ult in three. That's the only way he can actually get a kill. And I don't know. He's just not very good. I'm still going to try and win with him at Master's level because Yo, what's happening? that's what people want to see. I'd say the only good Guardians in Duel are probably Ymir, Fafnir, Kuz. Not even Kuzumbo anymore. Ymir, Fafnir used to be Athena, but then the meta shifted. Athena kind of sucks again. Ymir, Fafnir, that's about it. Yorm's okay. Yorm's better than Ganesh. But Ganesh can build Poly, which means that Ganesh... If Ganesh gets Polynomicon and his full build online, he can just... He can kill Phoenix with Poly, and then he ults Titan and wins. He needs... Although, it kind of sucks. His Titan doesn't do that much damage to structures. I mean, to objectives, because they nerfed the heck out of that. When Ganesh first came out, you could all Titan and kill in two seconds. I missed that. I was gonna, I missed that so much. All right, this guy's taking a while to lock in. All right, let's say, talk about Ganesh strats though. Be game the game. Max level up the one twice, the three once. You can use your one through the wave. Wait until it hits the archer so you get the max buff, because it buffs every time it passes through a minion. And then you use your three, and that instantly kills all the minions except the melees, and the melees are one hit. And then you turn on your opponent and try and kill them. That's the nice thing about Ganesh's early game. Uh, Mage's Blessing into Bancroft seems to be the strongest on him. Possibly Warrior's Blessing Bancroft might be stronger. Okay, Kali. Oh, this is, good. this is winnable. This is winnable. Because if Kali dives you, and she's about to ult, you can just silence her, and then she dies the tower or something like that. Or, you know, she's a melee god, so getting her in my ultimate combo is not that difficult. This matchup's winnable. However, Kali with Hasten will still shred me. I think I will go Warriors Bancrofts and then just a bunch of mana potions. And I'll probably go Bracer. Alright, this is winnable. Not bad. Not too, not too bad. I and mean, people are always asking for gods like Ganesh, Kepri. It's like, yeah, I like playing those gods now and then, but they are definitely the hardest gods to win with in Duel. I'd rather play Ares than Ganesh, because Ares, if you hit every single chain, he's a force to be reckoned with. But Ganesh, Minions have his spawned. ultimate combo is so hard to hit. Oh, it's Mage's Blessing Kali too. Mage's Blessing Kali is hard to fight, because she just doesn't run out of mana. It sounds dumb to start on her, but it's actually pretty strong. Also, I'm just getting these four free warrior blessing stacks because she's just letting me hit hit her, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You like what you see? See, so that's well, I should have killed archers. I think I did it a little bit too early. Either way, oh no, it's because I don't have mages blessing. This time. That's right, I have warriors blessing. With mages blessing bankrupts, that'll instantly clear. Warriors Blessing proc there. We want to get Warriors Blessing stacked as fast as possible. Oh, nice. I hit her. Very nice. Very nice. Got some good poke there. I can actually take the mini hit now. So, our, so Ganesh's clear is nice. If they don't block it, they can totally block the clear. Which can get messed up. But either way, it's pretty pretty good clear. It's just his his only real kill potential is his ultimate. Unless they stay for no reason. They see me shuffling. They see me shuffling. This clear's kind of aggressive though. Kind of like Agni. Agni dashes through. Okay, I, have to pull it. I kind of want to bait her. Like Combo is almost impossible to hit, honestly. Is she actually backing? No. 
Don't be fooled. She looks like she's out of mana. She looks like useless Cali, but she's made just busted. So she's gonna get another one. They see me shuffling. They see me shuffling. It's best to just use my ult whenever it's up because it's so hard to hit. I'm gonna be missing it a lot anyway. So, at least, you know. At least I will be able to hit it more often the more I'm throwing it out. Which sounds like a dumb strat. It kind of is. Okay, she actually backed that time. Ganesh's autos aren't too, too bad either. He's a weird auto jail. Just play it safe. I've died so many times by backing there. Yep. Good thing to play it safe. She's gonna take my blue buff. That's fine. I'm actually gonna get my boots first. Since I can afford full boots but not full Bancrofts, we'll give us some movement speed to come over here as well. Maybe we catch her with my ultimate. Maybe. Nah, she already took it. Also, I can't really use my ult until her escape. Which is kinda sucks. Get that warrior's blessing. Dang. Usually it's best to use it when they're right behind you. Unfortunately. Should have signed through that. I get her. Oh my god, I missed. Are you serious? Are you serious? She went the other way. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. It's never over. It's never over. Getting a Ganesh game is so difficult. Your middle tower is under attack. This is winnable. I know it is. I know I can do this. I messed up. But I'm Ganesh for crying out loud. Like, come on. Someone's been spamming my Twitch chat with saying they build Rangda's mask third item or something on Ganesh and they take Phoenix by eight minutes. It's like, no, you don't. You like what you see? <laughs> Maybe he does. I don't know. But it seems seems kind of seems kind of like a big fit. Get her. Dang, almost got her. There we go. Backed up so that she would miss the heal off her one, and got her right as she landed, so she couldn't do anything. All right, that makes up for the first play. That makes up for the first the first kill. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay, who's ahead? I am ahead by like 50 gold, a potion. That's like, that's not too bad. All right, let's clear these. Take these minions. The minions are, I mean, not the actual buff. She's actually back. They did. Got her. So, usually it's easiest to hit the ultimate when you're running away and they're right behind you because they're just going to keep going forward. And that's kind of what I did there. It was a little risky because obviously I was in tower, but it worked out. Also, she could have ulted. Had she ulted, I would have si tried silencing her and then bracering, and I might have lived. And I killed her right after if she continued, but it would have still been pretty scary if she ulted. Callie's also knock up immune in her ult, so that's not really good for me. You like what you see? Yeah. 
Oh my gosh, she did it all again. She had plenty of time. I did two auto attacks. It's not like I, I canceled it and did one. I silenced her and made her think I was going to do the full the full silence. But she, uh, I, you know, I canceled it to do the one auto. And I did another auto, so I don't know why she didn't fall. By the way, I had Bracer. I should have been okay. Uh, also, I might be able to kill her. Three kills back to back? Three kills back to back? Right, she's going to leap on me. I'm going to try it. Keep my back face right away from her. Oh, she leaped in front of me. <laughs> I tried. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> Can you imagine if I beat that? I was just trying to get her to step forward. Sometimes people, sometimes you start recalling from them, they'll just go through it. Not even think about it. Now here's the thing, we go beads, shield of thorns, aegis, Your middle horrific. Tower is under attack. I think I'll save my relic because I want to go horrific, right? Because that's the easiest way to hit my ultimate. Or easy way to force her ultimate as well. Oh look, she's like she's already got Half her stacks on transcends. That's gonna give so much power. Are you actually gonna back here in the like like Oh, I should have tried to trap her in that. Very nice. I knew my, my one wasn't up for another second, but my three is about one second of CC. So I knew if I stunned her and knocked her up, it would be up by the time she came back down, which is perfect. Very nice. Nesh's cooldowns are super long, but you can kind of you get more fit bang for your buck by doing stuff like that. Like when your one's about to come up, CC them. Nice. The two is pretty useless, but it's still worth it to level up at least once. Just for the couple chances of buying a couple more seconds. Uh oh. Maybe I think I'm leap gonna go over this way. I can want her to leap, is the thing. Maybe I might be able to get her. Got her! Yes! I didn't even need the oh, I just have so much damage with Bancrofts. Ooh, that was nice. She's gonna get defense now. She's gotta get defense. Red buffs up, but I wanna push these minions in first. I can't take uh, Phoenix, but I can take Red. That was very nice. I didn't expect to kill her without the ultimate. You know what it is? It's actually... Wow, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm contradicting myself from earlier. But it's actually the buff to the three why I'm getting these kills. Because it's very close. And I think the little damage increase from the three, since it's like a couple ticks of damage, it's actually adding up. Okay, she got blink, so now I can get that. I can get, I'm gonna wait for this. I might lose my tower, but that's fine. Yeah, the buff to the three is actually pretty good. So when you guys ask me, hey, is Ganesh better in duel? I actually can say yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> Rather than being a stuck up, stuck, stuck up guy, being like, no, it's not gonna do anything. It helps a little bit. I mean, we're winning. Oh, tough, she took that. All right, all right. We can do this. We can do this. Like what you see. Come on, Cali. Show me. The only thing about initiating with my threes, and then I can't do the alt combo no matter what. I need probably not to do as much damage as possible. Got him! Alright, the best place to ult assassins and stuff is around the phoenix. Because you can like put it on a corner like that. And if they're coming straight to you, they're going to end up in the ultimate, you know? It's a lot easier to hit on little corners like that. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. We actually got phoenix off that. 
That was a good play of five right there. Five right there. Nice play. Nice play. Middle enemy Phoenix. Ooh, I want to win this so bad. Right, let's back. We need to start working on pulling on the so we can take it. Uh, tighten a little bit faster. So I kind of want to use my horrific into ultimate three. If her escape is down. If her ult's see. up, that's fine. She'll ult for the slow immunity. And, you know, we'll just trade ults. That's fine. But if she just leaps out, that's not fine. I'm also not going to pick up this buff because I kind of want red buff. That kind of sucks. I thought I could predict it better. That's fine, because my ultimate's only on a 52 second cooldown. That's really not that bad. Okay, we can poke it. Wait, why did it heal? There's still a minion in the. There's still a minion in Titan's room. Why did it heal? What the heck? Alright. Shouldn't have healed, but whatever. They see me shuffling. They see me shuffling. So we don't have poly, but whatever. Now I could just use my ult on Titan next time. Also, let's go red, red buff first. Or I could try to kill her to end 100%. Okay, here's what I say. I say we go for red buff, back, get poly nomcon, and then ult Titan with my poly shots. I think that's the, the best way to end right here. Because we, we really need to end. She's getting hastened. I need to end very, very soon. That hastened is going to be pretty, pretty good. I get Gem Viso last item, maybe. Or Mid Guardian, that might be enough. I'm not sure. I have enough damage. Okay. Somebody it really doesn't want me to get them. <laughs> She keeps leaping over the wall right there. This is Master's Level Ganesh. You never know what's going to happen. All right. Come on. Come on. I want to win this game so bad. <laughs> that doesn't put her leap on the ground. Okay, Phoenix is almost up. You like what you see? Very nice. Okay, with that Phoenix down, we can take Titan. We can take Titan. This next wave, we're either going to take Titan, take half of its health, or kill Kali. That's what I'm hoping at least. Killed Callie. Killed Callie, got tied down to half health. What did I say? And we win. So all three. Not bad. GG. Yes, we got a good dash game. It only took two games, too. The first game I was against the Chalk. And I got first blood, but then it went downhill fast. And honestly, I kind of just wanted to try again at least one more time for a, for a Ganesh win. And we got it. We good. And you know what? It was the buff. The damage to the three. I could definitely feel it. It was doing way more than it usually does. Dang, that's pretty good. All right, player damage, 12,000. 9,000. Damage taken, 17,000. Or damage mitigated, 17,000 versus 8,000. She didn't get uh, defense for a long time, to be fair. Very good game. I hope you all enjoyed and learned something. And you can make fun of me for hitting on Ganesha at the beginning of the game. So see you all next time.